Plumbers and city employees in Toronto have been very busy since that freezing weather we had a couple of times a couple of weeks ago near mm -hmm. Christmas time, mm -hmm. freezing or bursting pipes. Oh yeah, KTK's Tori Bean spoke with the city of Tyler and explains why these repairs have been so complicated. Christmas weekend, Tyler had below freezing temperatures and the city made sure they were prepared. Our crews were put on standby and we definitely made sure we had a stockpile of supplies and equipment to use um, if we needed to during a repair. Public Information Officer Luann Campbell says they had 70 water leaks, with 27 of them being water main breaks. Water lines burst for various reasons. Again, they're four to five feet under the ground. Ground shifts around and it can put some pressure on those pipes and, and make them come apart. Tyler residents living in apartments seeing a lot of the issues, but the city couldn't fix the broke pipes. Their water is the responsibility of uh, the property owner. With water shut off for days, it fell on private companies to help, and they were busy with other calls. East Texas leak locators in White House told us they have served dozens of families since December 26 and have had to hire more workers to help. Campbell says the leaks were also due to older pipes, which could cost billions of dollars to replace them all. If it's not broke, we're not going to dig it up and fix it. She adds customers are on a fixed rate and no repairs would affect their water bills. Tori Bean, K2K News. And the city of Tonner is still working on four main water breaks. They should have them done soon. Be patient out there.